When Coyote Creek changed its course and filled up these old gravel quarries, it created these nice freshwater ecosystems, which is great for some species, but not so great for the migrating uh, anadromous fish like steelhead and salmon because they, they enter the, the pond. And one problem with ponds in general is that they don't have a directional flow, so fish sometimes can't find their way. But Jerry Smith, the fish expert at San Jose State, says that's a lesser problem here than the fact that the warm water is great habitat for things like largemouth bass that just gobble up all the, the young steelhead and salmon, and uh, they can't make it back. They can't make it through to get back out. First, we could talk a little bit about the vegetation. And uh, I'll turn my video back on so I can share some of the plants more close up. So there's a lot of cattails and there is tule, which as we posted on iNaturalist, there's a different common names for. Um, there's a number of different aquatic plants like the, or, or, or uh, water loving plants like the juncus. And Sienna just discovered iris leafed rush which is this one here. It's, a, it's, re, it's related to the rashes, but it looks like an iris. So you might think it's an iris until you go to, to expect it to bloom and then it makes these tiny little rush-like flowers. But one trick, which is really cool, like if you're at a nursery and you wanna buy a plant, you wanna make sure it's a, a Douglas iris and not an iris leaf rush, is you run your fingers up the leaves. And if there are little bumps on them, which I can feel, that's an iris leaf rush.